Today's video is all about the technology that you need to start a bookkeeping business. So especially if you're in the market for a new laptop, maybe some dual monitors, uh, make sure to keep watching. My name is Morgan from finepoints.biz and I love helping you guys get organized. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for a new bookkeeping video every single week. So the very first thing I want to tell you as a big disclaimer is when you're starting your bookkeeping business, please do not feel like you need to get special technology. Almost always you're going to be able to start your business and use QuickBooks Online with the computer that you already have. So I don't want you to feel at all like this is a hindrance, but if you have been researching what kind of computers to buy for a bookkeeping business, I will give you all of my thoughts. All right, so let's start out with a couple specs. I'm gonna talk about price, RAM, and internet connection. So when you're buying a laptop, oftentimes you do get what you pay for. So I think if you are someone who is ready to upgrade from your original computer, if you stay in kind of like the $500 to 1000 range, that will probably be about right. You're not doing something like video editing or something that's gonna take up tons and tons of memory and need tons and tons of RAM. So you're not gonna need the totally top of the line in computer necessarily. That being said, I got my laptop that I used for I think four years at a Black Friday sale. I think it was 300 and some dollars. So you could definitely go cheaper than that price, but again, you might just be sacrificing a little bit of the quality of materials. All right, and next is RAM. I recommend eight gigabytes of RAM. And if you can afford up to 16, that is awesome. If you can only afford a computer with four gigabytes of RAM, that will work as well. Um, sometimes you can buy ones that are expandable so you can expand later on if you need to. So make sure you check that when you're buying your computer. And I definitely don't consider myself the most techie person. I'm good at technology, but I'm not someone who is really into like studying like specs and RAM and like all the details of buying a computer. But what kind of prompted this is I personally am looking for a new computer. So I was doing a bunch of research and I thought you guys would be interested in this as well. I do get the question a lot about like, what technology do I need? What do I recommend um, for computers and that kind of thing. So hopefully this helps you out um, and you can come alongside me as I picked up my computer. All right, and then internet speed. So I'm actually gonna put on the screen the specs that QuickBooks Online recommends that you have for your computer in order to use QuickBooks Online. So in their recommendation for internet, they say 3 Mbps. And in some of the forums I was looking at and researching, people said way more than that. So I'm assuming QuickBooks, you know, is kind of on the low end, but I think anytime your internet is faster, the better. So you can take a screenshot of those specs if you're interested in saving that, as well as I'm going to have a lot of this information in the description box. And I'm also planning to actually make you like a little one page sheet with some links to different things that might help you, as well as all this information kind of summarized into a concise form. So check in the description box for that free download. Other things you want to consider if you're buying a laptop is size, is it big enough to work on? but small enough to be portable. I always look at battery life. I hate it when my laptops run out of battery too quickly. Um, so that is one thing I take into really deep consideration. And then you also want to think about the keypad. Like on your laptop, is there a little number keypad? Because as a bookkeeper, you're going to be typing in a lot of numbers. You can also get an external keypad if you don't have that built into your computer. So think about those type of things, what's important to you. Also take into consideration support offered. Like if you're buying it from a big store, do they offer a certain, you know, a year or so of support if you have questions or problems? Um, maybe if you're buying something refurbished, you wouldn't get that or from a private seller. As well as one thing I forgot to mention, it should probably should have gone in the internet category, is VPN. So that is a way to get secure internet when you're outside of your home network. And if you're just starting out, again, don't let this overwhelm you. Just tuck some of this information away for later use that you might need. Now I have a couple Q and A's about computers specifically. So first one, should you get a laptop or a desktop computer? I personally recommend a laptop um, and it could be personal preference, but it does seem like this is a very common thing because of course, you have the portability with a laptop and then you can set up some kind of docking station or monitors when you are at your home office and that will give you the same comfort as, you know, maybe a desktop computer would. And almost all of the time with a new laptop, you're going to have all the processing power you need um, to be a bookkeeper. All right. Second question is, should you get a Mac or a PC or does it matter? So this is totally personal preference. I know some people are really diehard one or the other, but I recommend using QuickBooks Online and this is a web-based platform 
platform, so it doesn't really matter what type of computer you have, as long as you have the internet, you're good to go. I personally use a PC. In my opinion, the majority of bookkeepers use PCs. Um, I've just found that because you kind of think of that as more like the business financial side versus if you were like a graphic designer or something more creative, you'd probably go towards a Mac. Um, a couple things, if you are using QuickBooks Desktop, you want to make sure you have the right version, or if your client has QuickBooks Desktop, make sure you have the corresponding version on your Mac or PC, because there are two different versions of QuickBooks Desktop. There is a program, I believe it's called Parallels, that you can run Windows on your Mac. I have not used that personally, but in my research, that is something that I found. And one other tip, but for Mac users, make sure you use Chrome as your internet browser instead of Safari. It sounds like Safari like automatically fills in some stuff and that creates problems in QuickBooks Online. So just a tip for that. And then what brand of laptop can you get? This varies a lot depending, again, on personal opinion. So you can talk to different people and they'll love the same brand that someone else hates. Um, I personally have used Dell laptops a lot and also Toshiba laptops. The brand I'm gonna look into purchasing this time is Lenovo, but let me know in the comments if you have a favorite brand for computers. And as I was gathering info, I looked at a lot of Facebook groups to see what computers people were using. A couple people said they used gaming laptops. So this is an option if you're maybe even on that next level because you're gonna have more processing power in specifically a gaming laptop. So that is definitely something you want to research if you are excited to have all of that power as a bookkeeper. And the second thing I'm going to touch on is monitors. So people who have the dual monitor setup love them and I feel like they say you can never go back. I actually haven't invested in that yet. So this has been a long time coming for me, but I'm finally going to invest in those two monitors. I've really had to focus on being portable um, in my bookkeeping career, um, but now I think I'm ready to get dual monitors and see if it's actually life-changing. I will let you guys know. Just anecdotally, I'd say about 75% of the people who are answering the question about what type of computer setup they have, have either one of those really big monitors or the, the setup with two monitors, dual monitors. And I believe that the price isn't as important for this. So you can get a pretty low end monitor and still have the benefits. So you can get a monitor for $100 each at Best Buy or somewhere and be probably pretty happy with it. As well as I know a lot of people are selling monitors either on Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist or wherever you buy things secondhand. Check there as well if you're on a budget. My plan is to get one of those large curved monitors that have been more and more popular the last couple years. So again, if you download my concise bullet pointed list of this video in the description box, um, I'm gonna leave a link to exactly what I personally ended up buying, as well as different price ranges. So if you're really looking for a budget computer, what I recommend, and if you're looking for a higher end computer, what I recommend. And just quickly, some other recommendations that you do not need as a bookkeeper, but it could make your workspace more comfortable if you want. I have a folding desk because we multi-purpose this room that I'm in. Um, so I actually have a pretty nice looking desk, but it does fold up quickly if we need to, you know, convert this into a guest room temporarily. I also have this laptop stand that my computer sits on that works really well, as well as a wireless keyboard. I didn't get anything fancy, I got one of the cheaper versions of this. And I also have a wireless mouse that is very helpful. And of course, I'm gonna have all these links in the description box as well as on that free download. I already mentioned that you can get a free number, I think it's a nine keypad. Um, they have different ones. They have, I've seen ones where you just can plug it into your USB drive and then you can type on the nine keypad. And also a wireless printer, I'll link for you what I have for that. And as a bookkeeper, you really don't need to print a ton of stuff. But I do like to have a printer because every so often there's something I want to print or it helps me to print it out. Two other quick things to mention. If you want to back up all of the data on your computer to the cloud, I've used Carbonite in the past, and that seems to be a pretty affordable, reputable company, and it just automatically backs up everything. That way you don't have to worry about losing stuff. And the other thing I recommend is LastPass to store your passwords. A lot of times you're gonna have different clients with different logins that you need to remember, and that's hard to keep in your brain, and so LastPass is a very secure way to do that. Thank you so much for staying to the end. If you made it all the way, please give this video a thumbs up. That helps me out a ton. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more bookkeeper videos. Thanks so much, bye.